that is the sport. Prostitutes in the Belgian city of Ghent have been told to cover up following complaints from the locals. Under the new rules, if their outfits are considered too skimpy, they face a 120 euro fine. Maddie Savage has more. It was one of Europe's largest cities in medieval times, and it's not just the buildings that have survived centuries of history. Ghent has a long tradition of brothels, and these days, sex sells inside protected heritage sites. About 170 prostitutes work on just a few streets here on the edge of the city centre. Many have been doing it for years, but now they're being told to put on more clothes. Window displays like these are legal across Belgium, but workers caught wearing bras, briefs or bikinis in public in Ghent's red light district now face a fine equivalent to about 150 US dollars. This woman says she's been advising prostitutes on how to dress within the new rules. So the, the bottom is not too much showing and the breast is not too much exposed. Okay. Yes. But others are angry about being forced to cover up. Of course that's going to be a problem for me. I need to work and earn a living. And if I can't wear sexy clothes, then I don't think that will please the men. They want to see our bodies. The city's mayor insists the changes are necessary because increasingly revealing outfits have attracted increasingly rowdy customers. There are a lot of inconvenience and uh, that's the reason why we took some measures about the dress code of the girls. Um, but uh, let's be clear, we are not against prostitu prostitution. I think that prostitution has uh, indeed uh, a very a social value and it's necessarily in a big city like Ghent. But others strongly disagree. They say whatever prostitutes are wearing, they're still selling sex, and that shouldn't be tolerated. Some want a change in the law banning people from buying their services. We don't believe that people need prostitutes. Uh, the market needs prostitutes, and the, um, the pimps and the traffickers need prostitutes. This is the way we have to look at things. Uh, in reality, uh, the majority of women in prostitution don't want to stay in prostitution. That's an argument that may be hard to promote in Ghent, though, where for the most part there's a relaxed attitude to the sex industry. Many locals believe it deserves a place in the city's future as well as its past. Maddie Savage, BBC News, Ghent.